This is Dabu7 reporting on a buoy that has been set into event mode here off the Upper East Coast. Right out the gate, this is the same area where this massive wave pattern came from here just in the past 24, 36 hours. Now, there is talk that a possible fragment from a meteor or a fireball from the annual meteor shower we're going through right now could have potentially hit the ocean, but there's no way to prove it. They're saying a softball-sized piece of rock that could have hit at 14,000 miles an hour could have caused, mathematically, the buoy disruption that we, we see here. Now, this did not cause any massive tsunami to come rushing toward the East Coast, but it did cause a 180-foot fluctuation in the water level. That's a pretty big fluctuation. Now, they measure in meters over here on the site, but when you break that down from its lowest point to its highest point, there was a fluctuation of 180 feet. So, you can see the buoy here set off into event mode. You can see which one it is, 44402. This one right here. And you can see where it spiked. Now, if you go over here, and you look at the details of it, you can see right when it impacted, something happened out here. Explosion underwater or an impact on the surface really does look like it could, could have potentially been an impact on the surface the way that it's spiking and that it's waving out because it looks like the initial... The initial movement was a dip, possibly from an impact, kicking up a wave, and then you have that effect continuing on out there. But this is what's took place here here in the past 12 hours or so. Shout out to Tronic for sending this my way. Wanted to make everyone out there aware of this. Anytime we see a buoy event like that, you know, that much movement, it's something to pay attention to. As of right now, though, this remains a mystery. There's no guarantee that it was a fireball meteor impact. Could have been underwater movement. I mean, at this point, we don't have enough details. But what I want, want to make people aware of is that, yes, we have some activity off the coast here that was pretty significant for the movement that we've seen there. No tsunami warnings posted. Nonetheless, it's on us to keep our eyes peeled, guys. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu7.